This is the Ryobi RYRM8034, and it's their 80 volt HP brushless Z74 lithium. So this is a 54 inch fabricated deck, and you get five brushless motors that are driving this. You get two independent brushless motors that are driving each wheel independently, and then you have a brushless motor for each set of blades. So you don't have belts, you don't have hoses, you don't have fluids. All you have, you have a direct drive electric or battery powered brushless motor that's driving each blade. Not really a single blade, it's actually a set of twin blades for each one. They sell this 80 volt mower in three different sizes, in a 30 inch, a 42, and a 54. However, the 54, as I mentioned, does have a fabricated deck. Now I mentioned the five brushless motors and they're all powered by these three suitcase style or briefcase style 80 volt batteries and each one of these batteries can be removed and now they're starting to make mowers and different pieces of equipment that also accept these 80 volt batteries as well you can check the status on each one of these and it will tell you right there on the readout but you can also tell from your control screen and in addition to the 80 volt, on the left hand side, we have a bank of 40 volt batteries and these are 12 amp hour, 40 volt lithium batteries. And they provide supplemental power to the mower. And if we lift the lid on the right hand side, we see we have another 12 amp hour, 40 volt battery here as well. Now the cool thing about it is all of these batteries, they are charged by a single charger with a single port right there. So in less than five hours, it can go from completely dead to completely charged just by plugging in one plug. And you can also keep track of it on your phone. As I mentioned, the drive wheels, the rear wheels are controlled by brushless motors. So again, no hydrostatic pumps that have to have fluid changes or filter changes. These are direct drive motors and they handle all of the driving of the rear wheels. Now, probably the most unique feature outside of maybe the 80 volt batteries of this mower is the iDrive system. And it's basically a joystick controlled, single joystick controlled, zero turn mower. Now you can actually lock it down to neutral. So find the center spot, push it down, and that locks the mower into neutral. And then to basically drive with the mower, you will pull this up after turning the key on and then you have free mobility. But that centralized neutral spot that locks the joystick so you can't just bump it. Now the 80 volt batteries and the 40 volt batteries combined should give you about a four acre cut. And of course that's gonna depend on the length of grass, the type of grass, how fast you're running, how fast you have the blades running and so forth. We will definitely do a runtime test and test that to see how much mowing we get done on a single charge of batteries. And one of the really cool features on here are the headlights. So early morning mowing, late afternoon, into the evening mowing, no problem. We have LED headlights on the front to show us where we're going. Now there are added creature comforts as well, such as the adjustable seat. So easily slide that to and fro to adjust for your leg length. We can also adjust the suspension of the seat to make sure that we're getting the most comfortable ride possible for each rider. Have fold down armrests, and then the left side even has an adjustable armrest where we can slide that forward and back. Right here in front of the seat, we have additional storage. So if you wanna store things in there, you can. And we have dual cup holders that easily store even your larger cups. So in addition to the 40 volt battery that's back here, we also have a storage department and we even have a USB right there in the storage area. And then one more compartment here is made specifically for your cell phone. So you have two different slots right here. You also have an additional USB port right here. The unfortunate thing is iPhone 13 Pro Max and 14 Pro Max is not quite gonna fit in there with a the case on it. No biggie, you can put it in the big one over here. Now starting this is very easy. We're just gonna turn the key to the on position. And once we turn the key on, we should see the screen light up. And in a second, we'll have some options. Here we have the drive control or the drive speed, low, medium, high. Here we have the blade speed, low, medium, and high. 
have our Bluetooth connection, and then we also have our headlights turn on and off. You can see we're in neutral as well as the parking brake is applied as well. And in a moment, it will probably start beeping at me since I'm not sitting in the seat. We have a 12 position deck height adjustment, so you can easily switch between levels and you can also set your favorite in there. And then you can just drop it down to that and you know your, your desired grass cutting level. If you'll set the deck as low as it will go and then you unplug the three brushless motors, very simple, three prong plug, you just unscrew the security cap and they slide right apart. And then you're going to flip this lever here. Then you should be able to... Now you can service your deck. Get to all your blades, check everything, put your mulching kit on, remove all the string you ran over. With this turned over, you can see the fabricated deck of the 54 inch, much different than the 42 and the 30. And you also see the twin blades on each brushless motor. You see the 10 gauge steel construction, welded, not stamped. Let's take a little ride. It might be a little bumpy because I'm just gonna hold the GoPro, but I'm gonna turn the key on. And then we'll set the, yeah, let's set it to high. Let's set the blade to high as well. So I need to turn off the parking brake and then I need to pull up on the joystick and I should be good to go. Now the cool thing about this is when you let go, it doesn't just come back. You can see it's almost like cruise control. So you can set this and rest your one arm. And we get up to eight mile per hour in high. If we want to engage the blades, So I turned them back off. So you can see that really there's nothing noisy about driving this. Very quiet. However, when we engage the blades, Let's turn the blade speed down. So we've got it in low. So even in low, we still get a decent cut. Now we'll say that getting this to track straight is a little bit tricky initially. But then once you get about 30 minutes of runtime, it really becomes natural. Then you can just provide a little input one way or the other, and it's really not hard. The key really is not grabbing this thing like you, you're not gonna let it go. You know, just gently grasp it and then provide the input needed. Kind of like when you're playing sports, they say, you know, you don't grab the baseball bat as hard as you can Keep it in your fingertips. Get a full eight mile per hour. 
And then if you want to make a turn, you can just go to the side, spin around. Now, if you do go pull back, it will snap around a lot quicker, but that's when you're going to get the rear wheel digging in if you pull it backwards, because that's where one wheel is going to go backwards, one wheel is going to go forward, and you're going to start digging ruts. But if you'll stay in the forward position or just sideways, it will not dig in that wheel on the one side. If I give that rear input, that is going to spin that tire. So make sure you practice a little bit getting those turns down and you can still get those zero turns without putting those ruts in the yard. Now we did some runtime testing and actually with a full charge at 100%, uh, we went out and tried to mow our three acres. We got about two acres cut and then the battery actually, it didn't go to zero, but it went down to where it turned off the blades. We still were able to drive it to charge it so that just tells you the majority of that power is going to the blades. And so if you're slowing down those blade speeds, you're going to conserve some of that power in those batteries and be able to get a longer run time. In our testing, we did have the drive speed on high and the blades on high. The price for the Ryobi 54 inch 80 volt is $69.99, so about $7,000. However, right now, they have a special going where they will also provide about $500 in tools. You get a Whisper Series blower and a Whisper Series string trimmer along with a charger and another 40 volt battery for that same price. Five year warranty on the mower, five year warranty on the 80 volt batteries and three year warranty on the 40 volt batteries.